I'm Kevin Gillespie, a chef with a passion for fresh, delicious food and the stories of the people it brings together. At food co-ops across the country, come discover what makes them stronger together. Part of what makes co-ops special is the deep relationship they often have with the farmers around them. That's certainly the case in Sacramento and Davis, California, where two co-ops are leading a fundraising effort to ensure that the beautiful Good Humus Farm is not lost to development. Agriculture is huge here. It's a big part of the community. Farmers um, shop here, <laughs> right? you know, and as well as deliver the produce here. The uh, food co-ops came together to help Jeff and Annie to preserve Good Humus produce by reaching out to the consumers. So we're here at Good Humus, which is a pretty expansive place. I mean, you guys have a lot going on here. You have fruit, you have flowers, you have vegetables. Kind of been the key of our farm. We probably have 60-ish different kinds of fruits, vegetables, fruit herbs. Wow, incredible, incredible aroma. It has an amazing, amazing scent. Now these are? Nectarines. These nectarines. Are, these are the nectarines, yeah. Quartered, laid in the sun, 10 days later, dry. Oh, look at the size of that sucker. Should I cut you a piece? Please, yes. Yeah. A lot of hams picked those. How did you guys get started at this place? Take me back, like what's the history of here? We started as soon as we got out of college. We're still in process, <laughs> you know. It's been 27 years here. Yeah. And during that process, we helped start the Davis Food Co-op. It's just a community participation. For us, the future is community, children and our children's children. The future includes the kind of food system that we've been advocating you know, since we started. And so that was what sort of took us to this thought of, well, who is going to farm good humus right. next if our kids don't want to? Farms that were good working farms were being lost. They were really visionary, thinking about the future of agriculture in our region. Jeff and I started this farm preservation project because the people that worked for us wanted to farm close by, and they couldn't. They could maybe buy the farm, but the infrastructure, they can't do both on a farming income. And I went to the Davis Co-op and I said, you guys, let's not let this go. They said, yeah. And we know that there's this concern about disappearing farmland. So we want to take action, and then we can help preserve this farm for all time. How do you guys exactly. make that happen? Well, we came up with the notion that if um, the combined membership of the Davis Food Co-op and Sacramento Food Co-op gave three cents a day, just dropping your change in a piggy bank at the register or <laughs> buying a mug or a t-shirt, we would be able to purchase the agricultural easement that will preserve good from this farm within a year. The easement sets aside some of the rights of ownership gives them to the public forever. The rights that are left are just the rights that you need in order to farm it. Okay. And the easement itself says anybody that owns this land has to farm it. What we want to do is have the community empower itself to save and preserve its own local food system and build its own local food system. Right. That's the power. It's not just the farmers who feel this way. It's not just you guys saying, you know, that's, this is tragic, we need to stop this. It's the people walking into the stores. Every August at their annual peach party, Good Humus opens its gates to the community to celebrate the year's harvest and to thank them for supporting their farm through the One Farm at a Time program. They're out here making peach pizzas, making peach tarts, making peach sauce, and I feel like that is what will make all of our farms, you know, if you don't have that experience, it's nowhere living in you, you know, and that's what I want. When people come, I want their heart. I think the absolute most important facets of people connecting themselves with where their food comes from is to meet the people like yourselves. Yeah. It's hard for yeah. people to have this concept that their one dollar did something and it might seem so little to you but as a community that support means so much. If it wasn't the community supporting it, it wouldn't continue. It's really been, you know, all of us building it together.